Hey Wanderers, prepared wander out in the woods today. I got another review for you. Uh, this is a bonus review. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing uh, a possibles kit that I put together based on the Maxpedition Thermite. And if you're not familiar with the Maxpedition Thermite, this is from their Legacy series. It is a hip uh, leg pouch and uh, I've put a kit together that I'm going to be carrying for this year uh, on trips and for camping and backpacking and hiking and I want to see what you guys think of it so stick around. So first things first we got to see this thing what it looks like and here it is this is the Maxpedition Thermite. I've got this um, configured where it's going to sit on my hip. Um, it's a hip bag. It does come with a leg strap that goes around your thigh. I don't think that's necessary for what I'm doing. Uh, it just seems a little bit too cumbersome for me, so I've taken that off. It comes off easily. It, no modification whatsoever. It just comes right off with Velcro. Um, but this pouch has everything in it I need um, when I'm backpacking, camping, hiking. Uh, it's all the possibles, all the items that I'm going to be using uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, fire kit, first aid, um, some backup stuff, uh, multi-tool, flashlight, and navigation. So that kind of covers all my bases. And that way I don't have to have a bunch of pouches inside my backpack and I can make more room inside my backpack to carry more gear, carry more food, things like that. This um, will always be on me so no matter what I do roaming from the camp base camp I've got the, the essentials with me to start a fire to treat myself with uh, first aid navigation lighting tools it's got everything I need and no, and nothing extra it's just it's down to the bare bones as far as what I'm going to use so what I like about this is how it carries on your hip and if you cinch this thing up real tight, it stays up on your hip pretty well, and then you can actually access it. So if you're wearing a backpack with a, a large hip belt, like my Mystery Ranch that I use, uh, this will hang below it. Uh, most, you know, fanny packs are all sitting right where my lumbar area is and where my hip belt's going to be for my, my larger backpacks, this is going to hang below that. So this is going to be in addition to whatever backpack I'm carrying. So here it is. Turn it over, let's look at the back of it. This is where the leg strap goes. That's easily removed. Go to the front, you've got two adjustable lid side pouches that are perfect for a multi-tool and a flashlight. Up here, there's a zipper pocket that runs the length in the back of the whole pouch. Now, I don't have anything in that because I'm keeping that open to put maps, maybe slip a knife in there, whatever I need that's going to be extra stuff. Maybe my phone will go in there. It just depends on what I'm what I'm doing. So I'm leaving that pocket open since that's so, it's so narrow and tight. Up here, there's a lid pocket. Then here I've got water purification tablets and a little bit of flagging tape. Open it up. You've got a pocket right here in the front. I've got my whistle and my navigation or my uh, sighting mirror for signaling. Zipper pocket. I've got my compass. Got the SE notepad with the grid readers built in. And of course, a right in the ring pen. The meat of the meat of the uh, pouch here is all here in the center. This has got a storm collar that you can cinch down and keep your contents dry. I leave it loose and open, that way I can get to stuff easily. First thing I've got is a film canister full of um, cotton balls and petroleum jelly starting a fire. Punk of 550 cord, always handy. 
there's two slip pockets, one in the back and one in the front of this main pocket. So in the front slip pocket, I've got a wire saw. In the back one, I've got this old, had this forever. This is a piece of reflective, 3M reflective material. It's an armband. That way, if I need to be seen, I can strap that to my back or my pack or my arm and someone can see me in the dark. So just a handy little item to have. Then I've got some whirl bags, whirl packs. That's for collecting water and using the disc the um, water decontamination tablets. I can put those in here and decontaminate some water very quickly for myself if I need to. First aid kit. Just a general boo-boo kit with um, chapsticks, some scissors, there's a tech identification card, there's some Tylenol in there, band-aids, some compression pads. Not, not a lot of stuff, just uh, just enough to stop the bleeding if I cut myself with my knife or my axe. Then I've got my Tough Possum Gear mini pouch and this is my fire kit. In here I've got matches, fire steel, it's a new one, haven't used that one that much, pocket bellows, butane lighter. And the last item I got in here in this bag is duct tape. Always use duct tape. All right, that's it for the kit. Um, so as you can see, it's really bare bones. It's it's basically just a fire kit with some additional tools and my navigation and a first aid kit thrown in. It's not a lot of survival stuff. It's I'm not preparing to spend the night with this thing. Um, it would help if that happens. There would definitely be some good stuff in there that I can use. Uh, especially with the fire kit, I can at least get a fire going if I'm cold and wet. Um, but, you know, there's really no pr uh, provision for making a shelter. Uh, that would, I would probably something carry in a bigger bag, um, not in the small hip pouch. It's just there's not enough room for all that stuff. You know, there's a million different things I could take and carry, but you gotta, you got to pare it down to what you actually need and what you use. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted this to be stuff that I use. Um, I have lots of survival kits that I've built. I've shown them in the past. You've seen them. Um, they're, you know, you try to think of every known scenario known to man, and it's it's just hard to plan for everything. So this is really a possibles pouch that's going to supplement my larger bags that I when I'm out camping um, and hiking. Uh, that way, it's all in one contained area. I know what's in it. Um, I know how to use it. Uh, I don't have to fumble around looking through pouches trying to find everything. It's all there. And if I dump my backpack, if I'm in a, a backpacking situation, I can roam away from camp and still have the necessities that I need to get a fire going, do some first aid, do some navigation. Um, so it's really it's just a handy kind of pouch to wear. And I love how it hangs down below my waistline. I think that's really important. So. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, you can get these on Max Expedition's website. I don't know if they're closing them out or not. They are, seem to be closing out a lot of their legacy stuff, so get them while you can. These, they're still on eBay. I still see these on eBay. They're ranging around $50 mark um, shipped, so just, you know, uh, look carefully on the websites and see if you can find one. Um, I think they're really handy, and it's... Uh, uh, I'm glad I went back to this to check this out and, and give this thing a chance and I'm, I'm, I've enjoyed it so far this hike in today to do the review other reviews um, it's it's ridden very well you just got to make sure it's nice and tight um, if it's loose and you don't have a butt you're gonna end up it's gonna end up down around your knees so you really got to tighten it up so it rides up on your hip and your hip holds it up so there we go
All right, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check out the coupon codes down below for Camp Saver. Uh, check out the Amazon store. Also, check out the Facebook group and Instagram. Those things are growing. A lot of fun, a lot of people on those, a lot of additional content. So, we'll see you next time with Prepared Wanderer.